Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Konrad Gorlinski. Well, Katowice, the capital of southern Poland's Silesia region, was today the capital of the Visegrad Group, as the prime ministers of Czechia, Hungary, Poland and Slovakia held an official meeting there. The V4 was founded 30 years ago to facilitate cooperation between countries that exited the Warsaw Pact and sought a new association with Western Europe and NATO. The summit of prime ministers of the Visegrad Group was an opportunity to summarize the Polish presidency and recall the results of joint activities. We worked together in the Scherzer Group within the European Union on the great challenges of COVID-19. It was not an easy year. We fought for the health and life of our citizens and for the health of the economy. We helped entrepreneurs in Poland, Hungary, Slovakia and the Czech Republic. We were afraid of rising unemployment. Polsce, na Węgrzech, Słowacji, Czechach. Tematy podjęte w trakcie spotkania to. Topics discussed during the meetings also included the current EU agenda, climate policy, reform of migration and asylum, reform of the Schengen area, COVID-19, and the conference on the future of Europe. Starting tomorrow, Hungary will take over the chairmanship of the Visegrad Group. Without the integration of the Western Balkans, we are unable to respond to the challenges facing the European Union. We want to participate in debates on the future of the Union, so I believe that it will not only be an exciting year, but most of all an effective one. The priorities of the Hungarian presidency will be stability and cooperation with new countries. And now the Delta variant of the coronavirus is spreading around the world with increasing zeal. The World Health Organization is warning. We can already confirm that the dangerous pathogen has also found its way to Poland. What can we do to reduce the threat of this more powerful COVID-19 variant? With the number of coronavirus infections rising in the UK, the government of Poland wants to be prepared for the upcoming fourth wave. The most pessimistic conception includes the reintroduction of a lockdown. As a precautionary measure, the Minister of Health is encouraging everyone to get vaccinated. The shots will be free of charge until the end of September. Further new variants appear if people are not vaccinated. Viruses can mutate within an infected cell. So as long as there are people who are not vaccinated, the new variants will appear. Poles are more and more aware that the threat is still looming. I am a young person. I had not contracted the virus before and post-vaccine stress was, I must admit, significant. But I did it due to social responsibility. I'm thinking about restrictions for those who are not vaccinated. Earlier, many more people died. I just got my jab. That's all. Young people were laughing, but later on they found themselves in a hospital, and that's not funny. The first case of the India-born Delta variant of the coronavirus was confirmed on April 26th. So far, it has been detected in 90 patients. However, the epidemic in Poland is under control with a very low number of infections. Nevertheless, doctors urge everyone to comply with sanitary rules. The Delta variant symptoms are headache, throat and abdominal pain, as well as a runny nose and a very high fever. Much less often, patients complain of coughing and loss of smell, which are typical of other variants. Almost 2,900,000 Poles have been infected by coronavirus since the beginning of the epidemic. Over 75,000 people died. So far, over 13 million people have been fully vaccinated. The European Court of Human Rights found that the rights of two high-level judges were violated in Poland. In 2018, the Minister of Justice dismissed both the president of the district courts in Kielce, Mariusz Broda, and Vice President Alina Boyara. Later, both judges sued the Polish state, declaring that it was their human right to serve until the end of their terms. After the verdict, the Polish state is expected to pay compensation of 20,000 euro to each. The Ministry of Justice, however, believes that the ruling exceeds the court's competencies. The tribunal absurdly considered that the performance by a judge of the administrative function of president or vice president of a court and the salary supplement thereof is a human right guaranteed by the convention. Judges Alina Boyara and Mariusz Broda were not deprived of their judicial functions, but only of their status as president and vice president. 
The judgment of the ECTHR sets a dangerous precedent, as it may initiate such a line of jurisprudence that will nonsensically modify the freedoms guaranteed in the Convention by extending the scope of human rights to the right to maintain a specific function in public authority. The Ministry of Justice regrets that the tribunal made a politically motivated decision against Poland. Objęcie gwarancjami it is an unimaginable interference in our internal affairs. The court applied the human rights guarantees contained in Article 6 of the Convention in the field of rights and freedoms and found that it also included the right to maintain a specific function in administrative bodies. These cases are not subject to the control of external courts. Tomasz Sakiewicz and Katarzyna Gujska presented Jarosław Kaczyński, the leader of the Law and Justice Party, with a publication entitled Laurel of Independence. It summarizes the editions of Gazeta Polska from the years of the Second Polish Republic, 1918 to 1939. Gazeta Polska is the oldest newspaper publisher in Poland. Today it is circulated as a weekly. From 1929 to 1939, Gazeta Polska was one of the most important newspapers in Poland. It had a strong pro-government slant and the paper closed down when Germany took over Warsaw. But in 1992, Tomasz Sakiewicz restored the brand as a right-wing and conservative weekly. In downtown Warsaw, you can see an exhibition on the history of Gazeta Polska. The authors of the 40 displays are Agnieszka Kowalczyk and Mariusz Trolinski. Thanks for tuning in this evening. Have a great night.